three, two, one. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crystal's Diary. So we are on the fifth week of Dare to Let Go, and I am excited because we have come this far, and I've received so many messages, and just, you know, so much stuff about how people have learned from these videos, and they, they have impacted lives, so, I mean, if these videos help one person, or save one soul, or just encourage one person, then I've done my job. So um, thank you guys all so much for watching and just for staying tuned and just supporting this. Um, God bless you all. And um, today we are going to talk about fear. Today I dare you guys to let go of fear. We know that fear is not of God, but fear always finds a way to creep in. Fear always finds a way to take a hold of our lives and just bring doubt and bring crippling affects spiritually and bring worry and not being able to trust God and fear is just uh fear I and mean, I know we've all handled this and all have been through fear or maybe are still going through this and trying to find a way to get out of it but um today I'm going to give you guys examples and I'm going to just talk about things that you know like what fear does and I have my own personal testimonies too so I'm going to also share that with you all as well so a character from the Bible that I related with very, very well was Moses. And I say this to say that Moses was terrified when God called him. Like Moses was terrified when God called him to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt from captivity. And he had a speech disability. I'm not sure whether he was a stammerer or he didn't speak loud enough or he was very shy. I'm not really sure exactly what it was, but we knew that he had a speech disability. And um, personally for me, I talk really fast whenever I'm like over anxious or, you know, excited or maybe shy. But um, it just happens sometimes. Like I'll talk really fast or, you know, I won't use like my jaw or I won't enunciate. But um, praise God, God has worked on me and now I am able to slow down my speech at times all by the grace of God. So we see that even when Moses was being called by God, God was telling him, you know, I will be with you, I will be with you. And Moses kept giving him excuses, kept giving him excuses, and God continued to tell him, I will be with you. That is enough. That is enough. God even goes as far as saying that he will help Moses how to speak and teach him what to say. So it's like, even if you feel like, you know, what God has called you to do is beyond your capabilities, don't worry, don't fuss, don't fret, like literally just let God teach you, let God guide you. That's what I have to do with my speech because sometimes I can, I can talk fast, but sometimes it gets a lot better and I've been told that I'm getting a lot better, so thank God, but I have to learn to put my trust in God. If I feel like this is what God has called me to do, then I know that he's going to perfect my gifts. I know he's going to, you know, help me out and things that I need him to do to be able to serve him and his people. So um, definitely trusting God that, you know, I may not have what it takes at the moment. I may not have the physical attributes or characteristics or, you know, whether it be like speech or standing in front of an audience, being shy and all this kind of stuff. Let God work on that. You just work on doing his vision for your life and obeying that. Let God work on the rest. The second point I wanted to hit on was be yourself. God chose you for a reason. If God wanted to choose person B, he would have chosen person B, but he chose you for a reason. And honestly, just let God use you. All you have to be is an open vessel for God. Literally, being yourself, being your, having your own characteristics is the best thing you can do for yourself because that's what makes you different from every other person. That's, that's what makes your dreams and your ministry and your calling different from everybody else because of who you are. So God is not asking you to, you know, become stale and stiff and, you know, serious. No, you can still smile. You can still have fun. You can still be goofy and serve the Lord. Just allow God to flow through you. Be open to what he pours into you and be open to learning more about him of course and just walking in his light as well i love this one okay my third point is do it afraid like quick testimony when i first started my youtube channel y'all like 
I was afraid and when I first did my first video and second video and third video and even up till now at times I become afraid and I know it's just the devil trying to discourage me but I do it afraid like I'll be over here like shivering JK JK I don't I don't shiver whenever I'm nervous but um you know do it afraid like think of a pool analogy like let's say before you jump into a pool even though you know that okay once you jump in like you'll be fine because you can swim you are still also you're still kind of afraid or kind of scared or a little anxious before jumping in because you know the water is kind of cold but once you get in that pool you begin to swim you begin to learn that okay the water you know the temperature is, is kind of getting better the temperature is kind of becoming more stable with what I want you know it's becoming more I'm, I'm becoming more used to the water temperature so that's how it is with God just jump in like even if you are afraid push past that fear Moses was afraid and he had to go talk to Pharaoh about letting the letting God's people go but even even though he was afraid, he still stood there boldly, looking Pharaoh in the face. Like, you know, like, what's up? You know, so sometimes you have to do these things afraid. And it's okay, because at the end of the day, God walks with you. So if God is for you, then who can be against you? So knowing that, knowing that concept, and just knowing that, you know, we're not, we're not called to just sit down and do things when we're ready. Sometimes God calls you before you're even ready for something. So look at, look at Moses. God didn't wait for Moses to fix his speech up. God didn't wait for Moses to get his um, words right before he, he was like, no, I'm about to use you to set my people free. So we have to stop sitting around and waiting for God to just fix us all up because if we wait for God to fix us all up, it might be too late. So do not do that. Also, my fourth point is expect resistance. Of course, where there's a move of God, there's always oppression. So you have to know that when you begin to walk in the authority that God has given you through Jesus Christ, you will see that people will start to fight you. Things will start to not go your way. You know, you will notice that there is some kind of resistance. The same way that Moses finally got the courage to go to Pharaoh and went there and asked Pharaoh, even I think he was even politely, he asked Pharaoh, you know let my people go Pharaoh was like no he went back over and over and over again and Pharaoh was that resistance for for Moses you know Moses could have given up like he said no like t like five times already let's just go home but he pushed past that resistance he pushed back past all that and would not stop until he knew what we, what he was there to do was accomplished so don't give up just because you feel like you know, you've been shut down, you've been rejected, you've been neglected maybe, or you've been, you know, um, you've just not gotten what you've wanted from whatever you're doing in your life at the moment. So don't let that discourage you. Just use it as the momentum to continue to propel you. Look at Moses. If not for him, the people of Israel wouldn't have been able to become free. So don't let that fear stop you from doing something so great, okay? And my last point is that conflict builds character. Of course, we all know that in James it talks about how the testing of our faith builds endurance. So, of course, when, we, when we're faced with these conflicts, we have to learn to trust God. We have to learn to, you know, um, praise Him through the storm. Praise Him through whatever is going wrong in our life at that moment. We have to learn to surrender our plans and give it to Him. So, all these conflicts taught Moses, okay, wow, like... You know, these things are all pushing me back, but it's okay because God is going to come through. And look, he did come through. Instead of allowing that conflict and that oppression or that resistance to knock you down, let that build your character. Let that build your trust and your faith and your strength in Christ because that's exactly what it's needed for. So I found this acronym and I love it because it very thoroughly describes what fear is. And it basically says that fear is false evidence appearing real. How cool is that? Like that person is a genius. Like I absolutely love that. And I just think that we need to really apply that to our lives. Like fear is false evidence appearing real you're not real you're false you know so um let's tell our fears that they're false and let's tell our fears that we will overcome them and that we won't let them keep us in bondage that the plan god has for us 
is so much bigger than that tiny fear looking in you in your face. So let's just be able to, let's just start to overcome that and start to supersede that fear and just, just give it to God. Whatever it may be, just tell God, hey God, you know, I'm really struggling with fear and I'm really struggling with the fear of not being able to do this and that and that and just allow God to lead you allow God to lead you and uh, I do believe that you know in due time fear will poof it will disappear because it can't stand a chance with a child of God that knows they're right and knows the mission that they're on so don't let that stop you and yeah i just pray that that has encouraged you and kind of helped you see who else in the bible dealt with fear and i mean i deal with fear at times as well i deal with fear um when i make videos at times like okay maybe you know i shouldn't make these videos or maybe i should delete them or i don't know but i have to tell the devil to shut up and i just have to sp i have to push past that and you know trust god you know just trust him so this week i triple dog dare you guys to let go of fear and yeah if you guys have any video topics for my last video which will be next week let me know you can leave a comment below i will see you guys next week in my last video on dare to let go peace love and blessings happens or is made and we all plan we all plan we all plan our future we all plan our wedding we all plan our future husband our future wife we all do this 